Welcome to a new video. Uh, Barnacle FPV here. Uh, the the reason I mean that it was awkward, awkward to have like an FPV name, but I didn't want to have like my name Steve FPV. I'm because I mean I would have to be fast if I was gonna you know like Johnny FPV can get away with it because the guy is amazing at flying. Like I'm I'm. I'm more of like a uh, a barnacle goose, which I don't know if you know. It's that um, the goose that is born on on the cliff, and when it's a little baby, it falls down, falls down the whole cliff, and then it it survives on the bottom somehow, and then uh, the mother comes down and sees it, and uh, that's kind of my FPV experience. So that's why I did barnacle, because that's kind of how I fly. I just kind of tumble down stuff. Uh, a lot of a lot of crashes, a lot of crashing. It's mostly what I do, but um, I was lucky enough to get a new motor and uh, get the tiny whoop back in the air. I was grounded for like three, four days and losing my mind playing lift off, but it just doesn't do it. You know, it's more fun to actually be flying. So I'm excited about releasing another video, and I want to do something different this time. I kind of want to talk through the video and explain, you know. What I what I was thinking when I was flying the certain way and what I want to try to get better at, you know, if that makes any sense. So thanks for tuning in and check out the flight footage here coming up. I like to start off inside and then try to make it through this door here. Whoop! I do it a little backwards, made the, made it over the railing, and I try to charge. I try to go as much throttle as I can up here. Try to go tight around that tree, but I can never get too tight. And see that flop right there? I don't know what that is. That was right through the middle of the trees, but reckless style, and hit both of the trees. Luckily, I didn't go down. Now, I try to wall ride up here. I got kind of close, but I should have came at it with more of an angle. And then I kind of, like, do a little uh, loop thing over the corner. But it, see how it, like, flops down and it whips back? Uh, it doesn't really have enough power to make it smooth all the way up and around little flip over there and then I eye these two trees. These two trees are so much fun especially when you don't crash into them like that uh, but it's a little windy you know kind of do a little wall ride. Try was thinking about a wall ride thing there um, fell down a lot almost hit that fence there round that tree that was good and close and then up here I forget what I do but I go through the middle and then I get caught. I think that's prop wash. I think that might be prop wash. And see, I already have to go back because it's pretty cold out. And I was hammering on the throttle pretty good. So then I go, to, here's my next battery. I go always to the same tree. I don't know why I go to the same tree. This time, I instead of going around it, I try to go over the top. And then it kind of flops to, to the side after you go over. Uh, I wish I could do it over the top and have that a smooth transition rather than a flop. Like I tried it again there and it flopped over again. Um, I think maybe I got to use more throttle, kind of thread the needle on that. And then this is my favorite part right there. I love that part. A little twist above the evergreens. It was smooth, you know, it was nice. Right here, another big prop wash, almost in that tree, barely made it out. So now. I'm hitting a lot of wind here. You see how it's going way to the side? Yeah, I'm fighting wind big time now. Um, I think my mom comes out right here and I whiz by the door right up here. So you see your head? There she is. Yeah. And then I come through here and then she's like, oh, that's cool. So I go by again and then I go to my two favorite trees and around this tree. And I think that'll probably be it. Yep, and then I come back to the house. Oh, yeah, I have to hit that corner again. I don't know. I like that little corner. I wish I could do more with it. I wish I could get closer on the wall rides, too. My two favorite trees, big prop wash, and into the tree. Luckily, I survived. I got real lucky. And zip it back. And I don't know what I did here. I was like, you know, re reverse wall ride and hammered the throttle, and I get close to it, and I'm like, I don't have enough speed. I can't do a reverse wall ride. Who am I kidding? So then I just head back, I putt back. I like the, I think this is a pretty good landing. I don't know, I'm in the landings. No, that's not a good landing. I hit that side, it was bad. So as I do a flip, my mom wanted me to do a flip over her head while she's like taking a video. So I do it, I did a couple of them. Um, but that was just, I don't know, that I just put that in there. This is at the playground the other day. 
Uh, luckily, there's no snow. It was, it was cold, but it wasn't too bad. And I usually just charge right up and flip over the whole thing, uh, you know, because it's safe and it feels fun. See the prop wash? I got washed out there a little bit at the end. Uh, that thing right there, I should be Maddie flipping. And I should dive through those monkey bars there rather than roll over the top. I will do that eventually, but not right now. This was cold. See, I already hit low battery. So then I had to head back. Whoop, underneath that. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if I was going to go up over it or under it. And kind of spin around. A little bit of a rough landing, but I don't know. Not too bad. I don't know why I landed it behind me. I landed it behind me. And now this is another one at Mom's. And... I forget what I do. Oh, this one I try to go as fast as I, I can, I think. I start off kind of slow, and I start edging it. Whoop, almost hit mom and my son. And then uh, I start I start pushing it a little bit every every lap around. So by, by the end of this little clip, I get going pretty good. Uh, I would like to just keep the thing sideways the whole time and just rip around. You know, because I'm at, what is it, six amps on the bottom or six and a half at the, at the most right now. At the, at the most, if I hammer it down, I can probably do about eight amps. So I burnt this battery out pretty quick, though. But this was a decent landing. I like that landing. I like that. There's my little gate there, the natural gate, and then kind of a dip around. There's that Bergeron t-shirt. It's awesome. Go Bruins. I should have flipped that couch and I didn't, but that's okay. I kind of do like a side thing. And around here, I forget what I do. I just I just kind of go back and forth. I'm trying to get his attention, but he he's like he does not care right now. He's into those. It's a marble thing. He loves it. Go up and over through the gate and then I kind of dip around. I kind of like the little dip moves, you know. Um, and then I zoom around a few times, I think, and Yep, just kind of buzzes, buzz right by him a few times. He's into those marbles, so look at him. Watch, he looks at the end. He looks at the end. There he is. Ah, uh, this is when I had the bad camera, the terrible camera. So now it's all, you know, you see the whole bottom of the screen is all messed up. Um, but I get, I, you know, I leave it like dark. I was kind of experimenting with having half light, half dark. But I could see actually really well in the dock within the uh, tiny whoop. And I get some good speed and like try to get close to stuff here, which is pretty sweet. I like doing, you know, I like going both ways. There's nothing that drives me crazier than drone videos where they go one direction. And I lose my mind. It has to be balanced with the right and left. Oh, and has to have a crash in it like that. I get over it and then I do this and then I crash into the ceiling up here. I think, yep, yeah, bang, and then down. And then one more rip around, and then I think I land it. Uh, whoop, kind of a rough, kind of a rough, kind of a rough one there. And then up and around, do a flip and smash into the tree. Yeah, we'll call it a day. Hope you enjoyed it.